Rule 1. Preparation Preparation is a key part of the Plygene gutter line system. Any thread sticking up through the sole of the gutter will have to be cropped to the top of the nut and smoothed with an angle grinder or equivalent to provide a smooth surface. We can then fit the fleece bagged protection strips. These are 200mm wide and the width of the gutter. Once you have removed all debris and swept any standing water, place the fleece bagged protection strips over the bolt heads and pin using the specified fixing. One pin on either side. Protruding bolts will damage the design integrity of the liner and negate its performance. Rule 2. Pin outer thimbles. Thimble outlets are a two-part fitting comprising an outer thimble that is part of the preparation and a split thimble that is fitted once the liner is installed. Fit new outer thimbles into the existing rainwater outlet and make sure that the specified shaman's fixings are used to secure the outer thimble to the sole of the gutter. A handy tip for ease of location is to mark the outlet position on the roof sheet before fitting the liner. Rule 3. Envelope fold the stop ends. Address the liner into the gutter, allowing for enough material to extend up the full height of the stop end. Fold the bespoke liner back on itself and warm with a heat gun until flexible and pliable. Then envelope fold the liner and clamp into position securely against the stop end until cool. Once cooled, trim any excess material across the top of the stop end and then remove the template clamp. Rule 4. Angle blanks. Always cut angle blanks to the full profile and height of the original gutter. Position the angle blank onto the original stop end trapping the liner between the two and fix the angle blank into position using the shaman's specified fixings. The angle blank is an integral part of the system design to prevent water ingress. Rule 5. Always use the proprietary cutting tool. Never star cut the liner as this will cause it to stress and tear. Place the center finding disc on top of the liner that's directly above the outer thimble, making sure it is central to the outlet. Place the cutting tool on top of the disc and push down firmly until it puts a small hole in the liner. Remove the disc and relocate the cutting tool and turn anti-clockwise two or three circles with gentle pressure to score the liner. Continue with a clockwise motion, gently cutting into the liner until a complete circle cutout can be removed. Rule 6. Insert split thimble at 45 degrees. To fit the split thimble, the liner above the outlet has to be warmed until pliable and flexible. Once the liner is at the correct temperature, overlap the split thimble and insert at 45 degrees to the center of the outlet, slowly allowing the split thimble to open. Tap the split thimble with a rubber mallet or hammer shank until it hits the gutter sole, making sure the split thimble does not overlap. Rule 7. Ensure the liner is pressed firmly along the crease lines. Physically press the liner into the angle of the gutter to make sure there's no gap between them prior to pinning. Forming the liner into the crease prevents air pockets and provides a secure base to weld the bespoke molded unit to. Rule 8. Mechanically pin the liner around the outlets. Before the bespoke molded outlet can be fitted, the liner has to be removed above the existing outlet with a Stanley knife or equivalent. The liner should then be pinned and secured to the gutter using the shaman's specified fixings. Rule 9. 
Rule 9. All welds must be free from moisture. Where bespoke molded units are to be welded to the liner, all areas should be fully dried and moisture free. Trapped water or moisture weakens the weld, leading to delamination and water ingress. Once dried, the liner is fitted over the outlet. The outlet hole is trimmed and pinned using the specified fixings. The bespoke molded outlet is then placed through the hole and hot air welded to the liner. Rule 10. Trap or fix the liner. The liner has to be trapped under the roof sheets or mechanically fixed behind the new or existing flashings in sections as you go along. The liner can also be fixed at the underside of the roof sheets using the specified project-specific flashings. Rule 11. Trap or fix the wind uplift restraints. Wind uplift restraints are cranked to suit the liner and are fitted in the same way as the liner. If the liner is to be trapped under the roof sheets, the wind uplift restraint should follow suit. Wind uplift restraints can also be twin pinned behind the new or existing flashings or reverse folded and pinned to the underside of the roof sheets. Rule 12. Probe test all welds. Fully probe test all bespoke molded units once they have cooled. Any non-welded areas will need to be re-welded. Allow to cool and retest. 